I joined Alfa Laval in 1994, after 12 years of work at ships as chief engineer and technical superintendent. My first occupation was in service. Shortly after, I started selling. Every equipment sold to the Polish shipyards, I have to start up and commission myself. It was very busy and effective time to learn about Alfa Laval product. What I remember from those early years was participation in many trainings organized at different sites of Alfa Laval. Today, the mode and training techniques has changed. A lot of digital material is available online. Alfa Laval pay much attention to the training and education of people, and young people can always count on the self-development in the company. Eight years ago, not only training, but the whole marine market looked differently. Asia was at the beginning of development of marine industry. European ship owners occupied dominant position in a global shipping, and shipbuilding was concentrated in Europe. Residual oil was the common fuel for running commercial seagoing ships. In the last decades, we witnessed boom of marine industry in Asia. Three quarters of ships are built in China, Korea, and Japan. European manufacturers move their facilities to Far East. Also, shipbuilding portfolio is changing. Post-COVID, demand for transportation result in increasing number of orders for container vessels. Energy transition is boosting contracting of LNG carriers. Environmental legislation has started the wave of changes. Global sulfur cap and ballast water treatment have been seen as kind of revolution. Conservative marine business model has been disturbed. People went in search for the best sustainable solutions. Search process for the sustainable solution in the marine industry is ongoing. Targets to limit CO2 emission by 40% to 2030 and by 70% to 2050 pose many challenges to ship owners to meet efficiency indicators. Today it's difficult for them to decide on fuel and drive technology for the new investment. Therefore, the strongest players actively participate in different research activities. Other owners, regardless of the region they come from, have to follow the process of change, not to lose their business. Alfa Laval ambition has always been to be a leader. Words to remind Pure Ballas and its first US Coast Guard type approval. Today, scrubbers, LNG and methanol solution, e-power pack, place Alfa Laval among the strongest players on the market. Research in fuel cells, air lubricated hulls, acquisition of Storm Geo, pave the way to decarbonization and create offer to optimize ship's operation. Today, the company goes even further. Joint venture with Valenius, Alpha Val Oceanbird, is focusing on the development and realization of the groundbreaking technology using wing sails for the future wind power vessels. Shipping is the most economical mode of transportation. Demand for carrying cargo by sea is growing continuously. Future ship propulsion will diversify. Coastal and other short distance vessel will, will be able to run on electricity. Big seagoing ships responsible for 80% of CO2 emission is a challenge. Green methanol, ammonia and hydrogen are the alternative fuel discussed today. Research on a new ship's drive is also underway. Certainly, the price and fuel availability will play the most important role in the future choice. I think Marine is an exciting workplace. Many new built as well as service projects require cross-border communication and contacts in between people. I've grown up with Marine blood and Alfa Laval led me to continue my professional life in touch with ships. But working for marine and young people needs to remember is also challenging. It requires deep knowledge, subordination and open mind to manage and understand people. Important is to work out the position 
so that your colleagues know they can always count on you. It provides comfort and freedom in the daily work and helps in achieving goals. I think that's the most, what I appreciate most in, in my work and that's why I stay with Alpha Laval so long. Andrzej Smoleński, Regional Business Manager, 28 years in Alpha Laval.